Hi everyone and hello to all the pageant fans all over the world, the universe rather, and to my new subscribers and returning viewers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I start with today's episode, allow me to greet Ellen Marie Imbala. Thank you so much for always watching and to everyone who showed so much love and support here in my channel. Thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you're watching this episode right now and you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Help me to grow this channel and to reach a milestone here in YouTube simply by clicking the subscribe button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. episode here in my channel I knew for a fact that a lot of you guys are already aware about the recent controversy in the world of pageantry so here I am again giving you guys my fearless reaction regarding this matter I know for a fact that every one of us has a different take or different opinion regarding this matter so why don't we talk about this relevant issue that we are facing not just in the world of pageantry but with our daily lives. Let's talk about the controversial post of Miss Universe Canada, Nova Stevens, about cyberbullying. I have to say that it's really controversial, not because of her speaking up regarding this matter, regarding cyberbullying or discrimination, but for me, it became more controversial when she singled out one country in her recent post, which is my beloved country, the Philippines. Let's go into details about her caption. reading her statements I have to say that I find it so strong and there's somehow a bit of anger and disappointment and a diva material for me and please don't get me wrong because she has all the right to be a diva she has the right to feel bad she has the right to feel disappointed because she's only human she was hurt by this negative comments and offensive comments about her skin about her beauty and most especially about herself. I really appreciate her putting, you know, uh, that lengthy caption about, you know, cyberbullying, discrimination, racism. But I just want to also share with you guys some part of her statements that I did not appreciate. When she said, you don't need to deem someone's life in order for you to shine. Tell me that I have a slow comprehension after reading this part of her statement we might have a different understanding but for me it's like telling everyone to or every filipinos you know to stop putting me down so that rabia mateo can go up so that rabia mateo can shine or i can understand if some part of the comment says that you will never win because miss philippines will win or rabia is much better than you then i have to agree with her statements but Reading some comments, it's basically about racism, about her skin color, and all that. I think it's not necessary to put yung statement that you don't need to deem someone's light in order for you to shine. It's really hard to be, uh, you know, to digest what you know her real intention is. I'm sorry. Maybe I am being so, you know, patriotic, or I'm being so sensitive because it's all about us. Filipinos. But then again, we are one country. So yung reflection ng isa dalawang Filipinos, you know, it matters to us because it can also be the perception of other people about the Filipino people. So please don't get me wrong. I mean, I supported her with her recent post, but then again, it creates commotion, not just the Filipino community or the Filipino people, but also it creates, you know, commotion between her and Rabia Mateo because Rabia Mateo apologized to her even though it's not really her mistake but Rabia Mateo took the full responsibility on behalf 
of her fellow men. And that's something that I really appreciate about Rabia Mateo. Whatever she felt during that time for me, it was a valid one. We can never blame her for speaking up. We can never blame her for calling out our fellow countrymen or fellow Filipinos. And we can never blame her why suddenly she outburst like that. Maybe it's too heavy for her to carry those negative comments, offensive comments from other people or from, you know, what she's getting. That's why she needs to let it all out. I know that some of you are actually thinking that maybe it's her own strategy in the competition. So whatever her real intention is, whether it's for her own good or her own strategy in the competition, or maybe she just really want to be a voice to everyone who cannot stand cyberbullying, we cannot deny the fact that she created public interest about her post. Now let's talk about her follow-up post regarding this matter. On her second post, she posted an apology to every Filipinos regarding her previous post because according to her, it created harm to everyone. For me, it's more than that. It's not just harm, but damage to the nation that Rabia Mateo is representing in Miss Universe. And as what they always say, the damage has been done. I've seen a lot of queens being bashed online, like Zazi Bini Tunzi, after she won Miss Universe 2019. I've witnessed how Catriona Gray addressed cyberbullying. I've also witnessed how Pia Wurzbach addressed her bashers online. But these queens did not handle the same situation as how she handles it. These past queens that I've mentioned never mentioned a certain country on their post. Not even posted a comment from a certain country. Again, I am not saying that what she did is not right. I am not even saying that she should have handled the situation like how the past queens handled cyberbullying. What I'm only trying to say is that her first post should have been handled carefully in that way it will not create any harm like what she claimed on her last post regarding this matter. And this is also to clarify that I am not supporting our fellow Filipinos when it comes to throwing shades or throwing hateful comments, not just to Miss Universe Canada, but to every Miss Universe candidates. Because for me, throwing hateful comments, insensitive comments will never be right. So that'll be all for today's episode here in my channel. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who showed so much love and support and for watching this episode. Till next time, don't forget to stay kind because you can never go wrong with kindness. I love you all.